Let's get to the details of those stories now. Family of the 17-year-old uh, uh, student in Takwadi are uh, seeking justice as they fear the police service may cover up for its own. The 17-year-old Lawrence Beidu was killed on his way to a pre-Christmas street jam in Takwadi. Inatalia has been following the story and has filed this report. Thousands of families across the country have settled for the Christmas and New Year festivities. But for the Beidu family, there is a sharp pain of loss. Their 17-year-old has been shot and killed after he was mistaken for an armed robber, together with his friends. Lawrence was a final year student of the Ghana Secondary Technical School D DSTS at Takrade in the Western Region. All the plans he had for himself and what his family had for him shattered with one wrong pull of a trigger meant to protect people like him. His uncle narrates the story as told by his father. I received several calls from individuals to ask if my family and I were okay. At that time, we had heard nothing about anything, so I insisted that all was well. I then rushed to the house to find out what was wrong. Upon arrival, I saw everybody crying. I inquired about the problem, and I was told that our son has been shot. We had that to the mortuary and realized that he was shot in the neck. Lawrence was killed, but some of his friends survived the gunfire with critical wounds. Kobina Doko is one of them. We were on our way to the street jam being organized by Shama. Initially, we wanted to board a taxi, but some of my friends decided we walk because the place was not too far. Lawrence was dancing to music from his earpiece. Suddenly, I heard someone shout, thief, followed by a gunshot. I was able to run for my life, but Lawrence could not. <laughs> Felicia Cujo had great plans for his son, but that has been replaced by a tragic story she may be forced to tell over and over again. At about 9 p.m. on Friday, I received a phone call that I have an emergency at the hospital. We rushed to the hospital to find Lawrence's father weeping and wailing uncontrollably on the floor. We asked what the matter was, and he narrated the ordeal to us. If there is any consolation in songs, that's what friends attempted to offer. But some of the family members are demanding nothing but justice. We are pleading with authorities of Ghana Police Service and government to help us seek justice. The matter should not be taken lightly simply because the suspect is a cop. If we don't get justice from the police, we will use other means to get justice, including consulting a deity. Western Region Police say the police officer whose name was given as Detective Ajay Shaibu has been arrested and in custody. But the fears harbored by family of the deceased is only too obvious. Here is another family member. Uh, 
We have lost a jewel in our family, and all we demand is justice. The law must work regardless of the poor and rich. What we seek is nothing but justice. Lawrence only wanted to be at a street jam to celebrate Christmas. But now, Christmas has been celebrated without him. In Athalia's report for Joy News. Very sad story of how Lawrence never was a part of the Christmas.